Okay, first of all, I'd like to apologize that I have uh, to uh, overdub the uh, voice of this video because apparently when I recorded this video, the microphone is not working. So here is I'm programming uh, my uh, IoT. I have a, a DHT sensor. This is a DHT, I believe, 22. And I'm using Node MGU, the VMOS, uh, the um, mini version. Now, the problem when I tried to code this, uh, there was an error. Actually, errors. And I could not find the answer over the internet. Um, it's not, I, I found some answers, but they're, uh, they're kind of confusing. So I decided to make this video uh, so that uh, if you have problems related to the Adafruit uh, sensor.h problem, um, then uh, probably this, this video will help. I'm using platform IO as my ID, my development tools, not the idea, IDE, but a command line. I love command line. So this is the the, the base of my uh, configuration. Uh, I'm using uh, PIO. Uh, this is the regular example, uh, regular directory structure. You have the library, the source directory, the lib source, and my platform io.ini is simple. There's nothing yet, just the upload speed uh, so that it communicates well with my uh, board. Uh, so the source I got the source of uh, the internet is this, this regular uh, DHC coding. It includes the each DHC.h and my uh, sensor is connected to pin D4 or my node MCU. So I put that one in the DHD pin. And my DHT is type 22, so that's the, the uh, configuration. The uh, uh, initialization is just basically set up the DHT, and then there's a loop that uh, reads all the uh, data. Uh, now let's try to compile it uh, using the PIO run. When I compile it, there's this DHT error message, right? Uh, oh, okay, forgot to include the library. I believe it's the library number. 19 I believe so all I have to do is add the library uh, those are the DHT libraries so I use the PIO lib install 19 and uh, it is installed now let's try to compile it again uh, PIO run and this time it gives a different ans uh, uh, it gave a different error that is the adafruit underscore sensor dot h problem the common uh, problem so this took me quite a while uh, to figure it out. Uh, Google uh, some places and it didn't give me the proper answers. So basically, uh, it all boils down to uh, Adafruit uh, kind of library, uh, their GitHub. So uh, if we go to the Adafruit uh, sensor, right? Let me just go here, the sensor library. Uh, let's just download the uh, library uh, and just download it. Uh, I didn't clone it. I, I'm sorry, the screen, the screen is kind of chopped. Uh, save it uh, and it is downloaded. Okay. So now let's uh, uh, extract that one under the library directory. So go, let's go to the library directory. Uh, there's nothing in it. Let's unzip. Unzip uh, Adafruit, the, uh, what we have downloaded. So it is there, the uh, Adafruit. Now, uh, if, if you compile it again, it, it still uh, gives me an error. Okay, I look around and apparently the solution is very easy. All you have to do is just add the include Adafruit sensor uh, dot h include that one in your code just like copy this uh, let's in include it in the tester put it up there paste it and compile it okay now it compiles perfectly okay uh, now it is good now let's try to upload it to our board um, Okay, upload. Okay, ignore uh, the message there. It is uploading it to my board. 
and now it is uploaded now let's run it device monitor and it gives me the monitor so now our uh, humidity interpreter sensor works perfectly and the adafruit underscore sensor dot this problem is solved so if you have a similar problem hopefully this video uh, helps you so good luck in your uh, future programming bye